Welcome to Pi Tip number five. And today we have a really sweet package that we're going to be going over. It's called Sweet Viz. And this is a really cool library that I'm excited to show off because it's great for exploratory data analysis. So we're going to start by making the Sweet Viz report. And uh, we're actually going to make a plot nine plot uh, from the findings from this report. So uh, this is really cool. If you've never worked with Sweet Viz before, it's a um, it's a really powerful library. It is definitely one that um, is going to be in my core toolkit for Python, uh, especially on the exploratory data end. So uh, to get started here, what we need to do, we're in Python tip five. If you haven't done so already, you need to sign up for the Python newsletter and that'll get you access to all the code that we're going to go through to make this sweet biz report and also a plot time plot. Um, next, what we'll do is uh, you'll load in the libraries. So uh, you're going to do a git pull. You just refresh this. It'll um, pull in the latest 05 sweet viz. We're going to be working out of this 05 sweet viz eda.python file. That's going to pull up this file right here. Um, we're going to go through the libraries. Uh, if you haven't done so, uh, just do a quick pip install sweet viz and that will install sweet viz for you. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll run these three libraries. So just hit shift and enter. And what that's going to do is that's going to send these three libraries to my Jupyter interactive window. Um, and if you don't have your interactive window, that's, uh, can be set up through your Python path right here. Um, or excuse me, your, uh, your Jupyter, uh, send selection to interactive window, just set this setting to true and that'll have your, um, shift and enter, send everything to the interactive window. Okay, next uh, we're going to load in some data. So we're going to be working with the MPG data set. I'm using PD read CSV to read from this um, file and that's going to pull in this MPG DF where MPG is our target and there's a bunch of columns in here. They're all related to different models of vehicles. So you can see we've got a Chevy Malibu uh, that has 18 miles per gallon. There's eight cylinders. Uh, the displacement, horsepower, weight, and so on. Um, so we're going to be exploring this data set using SweetViz. All right, to set up SweetViz, we're going to use SV. So SweetViz as SV, so we're going to use the function SV.analyze. This is going to create a report. So all we do is we provide it some data. Um, the uh, first argument is the source. It's a data frame. And then I'm providing a target feature. The target feature is what we're going after. That's what we want to correlate and find out what information um, is uh, is related to it. So I'm going to hit shift and enter. You can see it's going fast. So for those of you who have questions about this library, why should I use Sweet Viz? There's other options out there. Uh, one of the big ones is the um, uh, the pandas profiling package. So it kind of does a similar thing. Um, so when we do this report that we've created, we do show HTML and we give it a file path. That's going to create this report.html. So I'm actually going to going to delete this. Um, if I delete that, uh, move it to the recycle bin and hit shift and enter. Now you can see it's creating that report. And here is the report that it has created. So we'll go down through it. Um, this is sweet viz 2.13. Um, you start off at the top and we can get see an overall. So this is cool. This is a correlation association diagram. It's a little bit of a kind of like a heat map or a um, where we've got squares that are categorical associations. They range from zero to one. And then um, so the cylinders, we can see that uh, MPG is our target and uh, the cylinders has a high correlation ratio with MPG. So let's check out cylinders. We can see down here, if I click on cylinder, it's got this um, the histogram looking kind of sidebar plot, plot, but you also see that there's a line here. And when I start to investigate this feature, what this line is, is actually the distribution of MPG um, overlaid on top of cylinders. So this is really cool. We can see that four cylinders tends to have higher MPG, whereas eight and six cylinder tend to have lower MPG. Um, and then also three and five tend to have higher. So that's how you can use this to explore a target variable and the relationship between a feature. Um, so we can see cylinders definitely seems to have a high correlation to uh, lower cylinders being higher in miles per gallon. Uh, then circles are symmetrical numeric correlations. So this is your, Pier this is your Pearson's correlation. It goes from negative one to one. 
Um, so the circles are a uh, numeric correlation. Uh, negative is going to be red. Uh, and you can see that's down low. So you can see displacement is highly negatively correlated with MPG. We can see that as displacement increases, your miles per gallon tends to decrease. And then we can start to then uh, go back up here to our associations and kind of see that, okay, this is the negative red um, correlation. So as our displacement increases, our MPG decreases. So it is a negative relationship. So that's basically how SweetViz works. Um, it's an amazing uh, library. Um, I do have a bonus for you. Um, we're also going to show you, uh, this is plot nine and I teach plot nine in my DS4B 101P course. It's an awesome course. If you want to learn how to visualize and do some awesome, make some awesome visualizations here, I'm going to be visualizing and I'm creating a canvas of horsepower versus acceleration, which we know that these two from our SweetViz were um, associated and they're also associated with MPG. Um, I'm going to add a GM point, GM smooth, and do a few other things here to get my plot looking good. So uh, the main thing is I'm adding a GM point, and we can actually see the relationship between horsepower and acceleration. And it's actually not what I thought. So I, I was thinking, you know, as horsepower would increase, we would have a, an increase in acceleration, but that's not always the case. Um, and generally speaking, it's not the case. And you can also see MPG. Um, you tend to have higher MPG when you have lower horsepower um, and also higher acceleration. So that's probably because smaller cars, maybe there's uh, an association with weight um, there. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, very interesting. If you want to learn more about Python for data science automation, I have a Python for data science automation course. Check that out. Um, I have some notes in the lesson. Um, so check out the video notes and uh, we'll get you going with learning Python for data science and automation. All right, I'll see you next time.